Gumboot? Oh, hi there, Gumboot kids. Let's run around. Hi there, Gumboot Kids. I've just been on a lovely long walk. It was chilly out there. It's a good thing I was wearing my nice warm sweater. I'm so grateful that my friend made it for me. A friendly sweater maker? Who could that be? That's today's nature mystery, the case of the friendly sweater maker. Let's check out my field notes for three clues to help you solve the mystery. Clue number one. Let me help you down. Thank you. Way to go. You found an animal pen. Now for clue number two. Listen. I hear something. It's coming from over there. Good work. You heard an interesting sound in the animal pen. On to clue number three. Whoa! This animal is soft like wool. Terrific! Now let's connect the clues to solve the mystery. You found the animal pen. You heard a sound from an animal that's soft like wool. Those are sheep. So what's with the friendly sweater maker? Hmm, I know. Sweaters are made of wool, and wool comes from sheep. That's right. Do you know sheep like to spend time together? They are happiest when they're in a herd with their friends. So sheep are the friendly sweater makers. We did it. Case closed. Way to go, nature detectives. Now let's pause and have a mindful moment. What makes a good friend? Are they kind, thoughtful, funny? Try being the kind of friend that you'd like to have. I live next to a sheep farm Where they make the prettiest yarn All the fresh air and sunshine Make happy sheep and cozy fleece To make blankets for Bonnie and socks for Sue Mittens for Johnny and Baby Blue Sweaters for Billy I have for Christopher Thanks to the sheep, the children will be warm This winter And when a cheering time are getting cooler, I'm happy to be by the campfire. And thanks to our friends, the sheep, I've got this lovely scarf, too. <laughs> Good night, Gumboot Kids. Good night, Scout. Blankets for Bonnie, socks for Sue, mittens for Johnny, and baby blue, sweater for Billy, a hat for Christopher. Thanks to the sheep, thanks to the sheep, thanks to the sheep. Children will be warm this winter. Meet Daisy. 
Hi, Gumboot Kids. Hi, Daisy. I was out on a walk just now, and I stopped to feel the leaves growing in my hedge. I just love how soft and waxy they are. And I was inspired to make a nature craft. Would you like to do some leaf sewing with me, Gumboot Kids? Step one, collect some thick, waxy leaves. I found mine in a laurel hedge. Like this? Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Step two, use a hole punch and create a pattern in and around your leaf. Here's a hole punch. Thank you. Imagine what it will look like when you connect the dots. Terrific! Now step three. Cut a long piece of wool. You'll use this for sewing. And tape it to the back of the leaf. Now thread the wool through the holes you've punched. That's it. Oh, and remember, have fun. There's no right or wrong way to make a nature craft. I love what you're making. Thank you. Check out this interesting pattern. Wow, Gumbo Kids, I'm impressed. This is fun. Okay, Gumbo Kids, let's see what you made. <laughs> Check it out. It looks like a spider web. <laughs> wow, you've really got the hang of sewing, Gumbo Kids. Plus, this nature craft can be the perfect pop of color on top of a gift or simply to hang from a door or window frame. I'm going to wear mine as a necklace. Voila! Wow! See you next time, Gumboot Kids. Goodbye, Daisy. Next to a sheep farm Where they make the prettiest yarn All the fresh air and sunshine Make happy sheep and cozy fleece To make blankets for Bonnie And socks for Sue and Mittens for Johnny And baby blue and Sweater for Billy A hat for Christopher Thanks to the sheep The children will be warm This winter And when it's cheering time, cheering time We thank the sheep Thank the sheep For the lovely wool That we reap And we're grateful for Grateful that Children will be warm this winter.